Hi, I'm Hannah Putin, and I'm the Director of Government Relations for ASOSU. And I'm Dylan Perfect, and I'm the Coordinator of Government Relations for ASOSU. And we're here to talk about lobbying. So lobbying is just the process of making your voice heard on various issues. It's important to note that anyone can lobby. Lobbying consists of a conversation and sharing your story with legislators or their staff. Know that no one expects you to be perfect when sharing your experiences. And legislators are just people. They're elected by the public to pass legislation, which, con which consists of laws that uh, affect you and policies that affect you. Exactly. Legislators don't know everything that's affecting us or that contributes to our everyday life. So legislators are there to listen to you. And it's important that we as students take time to inform them of the issues we're facing. We have some great opportunities to get involved uh, in lobbying efforts in Salem and beyond. Uh, we have lobby days during the uh, coming months and a trip to Washington, D.C. to advocate on behalf of Oregon State University students in the spring. Now that we're clear on what lobbying is, we're going to go through a, a typical day um, and where we start. We leave Corvallis right here uh, around 8 a.m. in motor pool van uh, so that we can get to Salem bright and early. Uh, once we get there, it's a short walk to the Capitol. We'll often meet in a conference room uh, to discuss legislative strategy. For smaller trips, we might meet in the rotunda before then heading to our assigned legislative meetings. It is important to ensure we remain on message for the issue we've gathered to advocate for. It can be helpful to personalize our outreach to different issues and legislators. For instance, legislators in rural districts might take particular interest in OSU's Extension Services and our Student Success Center. Student advocates who can bring issues unique to their district into the policy area being discussed will be able to better relate to our um, legislators than using a generic pitch. Uh, we'll come prepared with some issue briefs or one-pagers that will answer more specific questions legislators might uh, have about the asks we're bringing to the table. Uh, after all, it's important to remember uh, that what's most important to bring into your meetings is your experience as a student and as a constituent. Uh, you don't have to be a lobbyist to have your voice heard. Meetings with legislators are typically 15 minutes long, so we want to be sure to make time for every single person in the room to be able to share their experience and their story. When we are not able to meet with legislators directly, we meet with their staff. And we have to remember that staff bring everything that we've told them directly to the legislator, and they're a really important part of, part of the legislation process. Once the day is done, we make sure to thank the legislators and staff we were able to schedule with. Schedules during the session and committee days can get really busy, and it means a lot to us, and it's really awesome that they take time out of their day to meet with us. That covers the basics of lobbying at the state capitol. Anyone can lobby, and your voice is powerful. Remember, if you have any questions about our efforts to, uh, in Salem or Washington, D.C., don't hesitate to reach out to us at asosu.gov at oregonstate.edu or asosu.gov, A-S-S-T, at oregonstate.edu. We know life as a student can be busy, and we really appreciate that you're taking time out of your day to go and advocate for issues that are important to us at the Capitol. And it's really great that we're there fighting for higher education at Oregon State University. Your voice is powerful, and you need to be heard. You are a student. You have a voice. Make it now. Go Beavs! Go Beavs!